What is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to go over exactly what brokers you should be using and when and why and how to use them. That being said, let's jump into this video. Yo, I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell fur. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. I done popped the molly and I think it's be my third. So guys, there are a ton of different stock brokers out there. Um, so just right off the top of my head, the popular ones, you got Robinhood is free. Um, that's why it became so popular. They've got massive growth. Webull is free too. They've just now started um, really coming out to me and seeing more and more of my students actually go, actually go and use them. Um, the other two big ones that I see a lot and I use myself are TD Ameritrade, which you can see Thinkorswim is up in the background over here with the S&P 500. Um, and then E-Trade. E-Trade is great. Um, I use them still because they are a lot better than TD Ameritrade shorting. And we'll get into kind of how I integrate all those together. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is Webull. Um, I just want to be 100% honest with you. I have zero experience with Webull. Never took a trade on there. I've never opened the app up. I do have students that actually use them. They say it's pretty good for the most part. They don't have any problems with it. Um, so that may be something they're starting to do their free app or free stocks as well, just like Robinhood did their campaign. It's kind of a marketing affiliate campaign where if you recommend somebody there, you get a free stock. With that being said, Robinhood did the same exact promotion pretty much. Um, I have used Robinhood. I started on Robinhood. I actually really liked Robinhood for the longest time. I still like Robinhood for beginners and being able to go through it and know exactly what you're doing with very, very small amounts of money and not being hit with all the fees and fines that you deal with when going through a traditional broker such as an E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, um, Sure Trader, not Sure, not Sure Trader. Sure Trader is the one that's on ban right now that's another one that they've been having a lot of difficulties with but um, light speed is another traditional one that you see a lot and so on and so forth of those traditional ones so with that being said the one that i recommend to a ton of people there's two of them so first stage is when you're growing your account you're just starting i recommend robin hood super easy i don't even send you guys my link in order to get a free stock i have a little bit of money in robin hood not much it's really my account where i go through and just like i teach you guys test out the strategy, make sure it's working for you guys, know what strategies work best for you, and being able to grow that small account. That way when you jump to a bigger account with a different broker maybe, you're able to still stay consistent. Um, so with that being said, I do have a small account on Robinhood still. It's, it's roughly around 700 and something dollars. Um, but when it comes down to my bigger account, my bigger account is on E-Trade. Um, E-Trade is mainly, it was on TD Ameritrade for a while. They did not have shorts like I liked, so I instantly switched it over to E-Trade. Um, now, with that being said, I still use TD Ameritrade to chart. I still got very, very little bit of money in TD Ameritrade. I love their platform, best charting software by far for people that are just starting and you want free software. I don't believe in paying for software. I've never paid for software. Even when trading with Robinhood guys, I recommend going and starting a free account with TD Ameritrade, downloading Thinkorswim, whether it's on the computer, on your phone, whatever the pro, whatever, wherever you're at. So with that being said, definitely download that. That way you can chart on your computer, you can trade on your phone, and you still have the best of both worlds. No commissions and great charting. Now, E-Trade. I trade with E-Trade, but I still chart with TD Ameritrade. E-Trade's charting software is getting better slowly. They're, they bought Options House a little while ago, so they're leveling up slowly but surely. Um, I just trade with E-Trade really on my bigger account because they have shorts. Now, I will go long, of course. Um, I go on the best play, but at that being said, E-Trade has great shorts and compared to TD Ameritrade. Now you can play options, which is just basically buying puts and you're basically shorting the stock as well. Um, you can definitely do that with TD Ameritrade. I have students that do that. When I first started, options was like a foreign language for me. I didn't really like it a whole lot. So I stuck with stocks for the longest time. And now I now obviously I trade options as well as long as stocks. Um, 
stocks was really kind of like my first love, so that's where that became from. But when it comes down to which one's better, TD Ameritrade or E-Trade, um, software, TD Ameritrade's gonna win every time with Thinkorswim. E-Trade has great executions. They have $5 trades. I'm not sure what TD Ameritrades are right now. They used to be like $6.49 or $6.97. Same with E-Trade, that after you take so many trades, then push it down to $5 per trade, $5 an entry, $5 an exit, so it's $10 basically a trade. And then I think TD Ameritrade has that deal now. They're trying to compete with E-Trade as well. Um, both of them have great tools really. Um, I just think this platform is just way easier to use, learn, especially when you're learning how to deal with charts and get this whole setup. Because some people, this right here looks like gibberish in Chinese. And I completely understand why it does. I mean, it takes a little while to get used to things. But back to the best brokers. So when you get to a couple thousand dollars, that's when I would recommend maybe either switching to a TD Ameritrade or E-Trade or splitting up your account on maybe opening up a Webull and then opening up an each or not an E-Trade, but a Robinhood account. That way you can have more day trades. Now, I would not recommend doing that until you're consistent. That is a huge portion. Be consistent before trying to get around the PDT rule and playing with things. Um, if you guys need help getting around the PDT rule, I can definitely help you guys there. I think I've done every trick in the book. But with that being said, I don't recommend anybody getting around the PDT rule until you're actually ready. And how do you know you're actually ready is you're making consistent profits all the time. Not all the time, of course, you're going to take some losses. I take some losses. I was only two for three today. Um, but actually being consistent and knowing what you're doing and why you're doing it, whether you're writing out a game plan or having the game plan in your head, I prefer you guys writing it down. Um, people seem to just do better with that. Now me, personally, I used to do it. I don't do it anymore just because I feel like I act on the fly of things and that's just how my brain works. But with that being said, back to the brokers. Um, TD Ameritrade, if you wanna switch to an easy, easy to use platform, Thinkorswim is probably your platform for you. And guys, again, this is not sponsored even though I know I have a green monster over here. Everything's a little bit green <laughs> and black um, for TD Ameritrade. But I just love what they're doing. Um, I think that they're going to keep making upgrades. They have some free training platforms. I didn't like any of it when I first started and I kind of got in there and saw it. Um, I wasn't a fan of any of what they're doing. They're really doing things for just long-term investing, which is always good if you want to do that. But I like compounding my money faster than what they can do it for me. Um, so that's really where that comes from. But guys, my overall... I wouldn't be getting into one of these accounts until I have a couple thousand or maybe $1,500,000 at the minimum because you're going to get hit, hit $5 per entry and exit. And that equals $10. That's taking money out of your trade. If you can just keep it in Robinhood or Webull and just keep those $10 makes a difference, a huge difference when growing those small accounts. So I would definitely recommend looking into a Webull or a Robinhood account. I'm not going to put links because... I don't even care about getting the extra few dollars. I'm not worried about that, guys. I just want to help you guys as much as possible. That's why I make these videos. So don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It definitely helps if I can put out more content like this, guys, and help you guys out. I'm always for it. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. I want to keep this video short, and I will see you guys in the next video. Comment below what you think my next video should be and what I should be giving you, what you think the next video should be about and what you want me to tell you.